Hi Stan Stans, my name is Stan. Welcome to the world of extra. And my name is Stewie. So today is a really exciting video because we're not just going to a love hotel. We are going to a themed, themed love, love hotel. hotel. Ooh. If you guys didn't know, Japan has a culture of love hotels. Do you know what love hotels are? Well, they're hotels where people go to do nasty stuff. I mean, I guess that's like the gist of it, but the difference between a love hotel and a regular hotel is the hours. Oh. So you know how with a regular hotel, usually check-in is at 3 p.m. and check-out is at 10 a.m. Well, with love hotel, they measure the time by hours. So there are two types, rest and stay. With rest, you basically just stay at the love hotel for three hours. So, you know, that's around the length you do that. And stay is basically around 8 to 12 hours, I would say. A lot of people actually stay at love hotels instead of regular hotels, even though they're not doing the nasty, because love hotels are generally cheaper. Oh, okay. And they have a lot of different amenities that are not available in regular hotels. Like, they can have, like, karaoke, they can have, like, free drinks, like, you can choose your shampoos and stuff. So, like, love hotels, honestly, I would recommend you guys to stay at love hotels. Have you been to a love hotel before? Never. So, today, we are going to take my little brother to his very first love hotel, just so you know the vibes, you know, just in case you need to get a love hotel. But a lot of love hotels are in very sketchy areas, especially Kabukicho. And if you guys don't know Kabukicho and you haven't seen my last video, make sure you guys watch that after this video. Kabukicho is known to be the most dangerous place in Japan. And it's also where the Yakuza, the most notorious gang in Japan, carry out their little scams and schemes. Oh shit. Also, speaking of safety, a lot of people have been getting hacked on Instagram. I don't know I don't what know that what has, that to, has do to do with anything, anything, but yeah, you're right. There's a lot of people getting hacked and scammed online recently. And that's because a lot of you guys are using the same passwords for everything online. You guys really need to manage your passwords properly. But Stan, but Stan it's so hard, hard to remember all the all passwords. Pass Shut up. That's why we should use NordPass. Thank, Thank you to NordPass for sponsoring, for sponsoring this, video. this video. With NordPass, all your passwords are stored in one place, which means you don't have to use one single password for all your social media, or let alone memorize your password. Also, when you sign up for a website, NordPass can also create a very unique, very difficult to remember password for you. Wait, so how do you remember them then? NordPass can autofill for you when you log in. But what if I want to log in on another device? You can sync your credentials, even your credit card information on up to six devices. Wait, so what if people access your NordPass? They will have access to all of your passwords. Oh, Stewie, how naive are you? No, because NordPass uses a very special encryption and stores your password in a place that is not accessible to anyone. Not even the NordPass team or the people that work at NordPass will know your password. Only you who has the master Password. What if you lose the master password? Then that means you're a little dummy because that's on you. <laughs> <laughs> what if- Shut up! There is literally no loophole, so literally stop trying. NordPass also has a data breach scanner which finds out if your credit card information or your personal information has been leaked. It will even identify for you when and where the leak happened. They also have a password health checker to check if your passwords are 90 days or older, if you're using your password for multiple accounts, or if your password is just weak and it sucks. So if you want to get protected today, I have a very special exclusive deal for you guys. You can go to nordpass.com slash extra or use code extra checkout to get one month completely for Free. Thank you again so much to NordPass for sponsoring this video. Okay, let's get going. So we actually didn't pack a lot of things. We ended up just packing the costume because see, the point of a love hotel is like a last minute place to go have. Also, the themed love hotel we found is actually an hour away from our place. It's actually kind of far. We have to take three trains. Damn. Do you have any expectation for a love hotel? Do you even know what it's like? Not at all, but I saw in your previous video that there were like a lot oh, of- Oh yeah, I did do a love hotel video last year. I think there are a lot of like activities to do, right? Yeah, but like not all of them. These ones are like high-end love hotels, but usually love hotels, literally, they're just like a random room. It almost looks like an apartment room, honestly, like a one-room apartment. But yeah, Kabukicho, that area is like the love hotel district of Tokyo. But this one is weirdly in Kisho, which is like pretty far, honestly. It's like the other side of Tokyo. Why is there a love hotel there? And a themed one too. So, we have made it to Kinshicho, and Kinshicho is the station where the love hotel is. I thought this place was very irrelevant, but looking at the place, it's actually super relevant. You got the idea. <laughs> but yeah, I generally thought there would be nothing here, but there's actually like a lot of malls. There's even a Toho Cinemas over there. Right, that's what I thought. Yeah. There's also a Yodobashi camera. It's giving Shinjuku vibes. Right. There's also Marui. Marui is one of the biggest mall chains in all of Japan. The station is also really big and there's actually a lot of lines passing through. I've never been to Kinshicho. Like, why would you be like, oh my god, let's oh go out in Kinshicho today. Like, what the fuck are you doing in <laughs> Kinshicho? <laughs> but yeah, there's actually a lot of things to do. There's also a karaoke. There's a big ass mall. That is huge. It's actually 
really big. Even the streets are really big here. There's also a Starbucks. That's how you know it's a relevant place. There would not be a Starbucks if it were relevant. Should we get a Starbucks? Ooh. Wait, no, nah. Let's not no. get a Starbucks. Yeah, because we're going to the other place. I mean, they have a lot of drinks in the Love Hotel, so I think we should... There's actually a lot of like sketchy places here. What we've noticed so far is there's actually a nightlife here in Kinshicho. <laughs> That's so random because if you think about nightlife or like the night scene, you think about like Shinjuku, Shibuya, and then Kinshicho. Like, what the fuck is Kinshicho? <laughs> hey, I'm like embarrassed to even say that. <laughs> Okay, first of all, what the fuck? Like, why is it so big? <laughs> okay, so we made it to Hotel Sarah. It's actually really, really big. There's a lot of free shit, like cosplay costumes, like rental things, drinks, alcohol. Something really problematic, though. They said they have concepts, and the concept is a high school. That's disgusting. They are literally fetishizing a high school. And they have a lot of these. They also have karaoke, which I'm really excited for. They also have a photo shoot studio. Oh my god. <laughs> Celebrity kitchen. The rest price is 5,000 yen, and the stay price is 8,000 yen. I also don't know which room to take. They're all so cute. Okay, let's go in. <laughs> okay, let's fucking go. Oh my god. Oh, I got it. I got はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。は
Green crescent. I don't know. That looks like a doorbell. Um, which elevator? Do we just like? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Manifesting it's one of the sparkly bougie ones or like a sparkly bougie hospital moment. <gasps> I know right. I hope it's the hospital one. What if this is just a random room? Please, 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 please. Let's go. It's the bougie sparkly one. <gasps> Okay, so this is the entrance to the place. This is where we were earlier. What I've noticed with every love hotel I've been to, it's always separated. Like, there's two doors usually. That was also the case with the other one. If you look over here, love hotels always provide you with some sort of, like, a, you know, a bathroom situation. And then right over here to the right, we have the bath. The bath isn't anything special. Like, if you see here, it's just a bath. I guess it fits two people, and that's, like, what's special about it. Because usually Japanese bathtubs, it doesn't fit even, like, half of my body. Mm -hmm. And then if you come over here, we have the sink. It's really nice. Also, we have so many like cool things here like olive, olive energy. energy and just like a lot of, you know, like sexy little <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And a lot of like skincare stuff. See, that's what I'm saying because like you don't plan these things You're not gonna be like, oh my god, I'm gonna go to the hotel tonight Like it just happens when you're like out and about, you know, the nightlife in Kinchicho it's like, and you know, you're just like, okay, let's go to Love Hotel. But you're not gonna pack all your skincare all day. That's why they provide everything. And then for the bathroom, actually, it's really nice. Ooh. It smells really good. They provide you with like napkins and stuff for your, you know, Gucci Gucci ulala. Really nice, clean bathroom, of course, washlet and everything. And then when we enter the room, put all the bags here. Look at this situation. We have two really cool chinaware. I don't know what this is. Whatever, fuck you. <laughs> they have Ooh. that. <gasps> Two bottles of water. Ooh, look at this. You can also buy from your room. I guess you just like push it and it charges you. That's cool. Do they have like a menu so we can eat something or do we have to go to the desk? Right over here, they actually provide you with all the little things for your ooh la 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 la. They provide you with all the things. Oh my God. What is that? They literally have a feather to like tickle your body. Ooh! <laughs> I can't wait to come here with Ludwig. <laughs> they have the controls here. This is something I've noticed about Love Hotel. They always have the controls in the bed so you don't have to like get out of bed to be like, oh my god, let me turn off the thing, babe. Bitch, just go. <laughs> <laughs> Done. <laughs> also, you guys, look. The what? heart compartment. Don't even play with me. What is in there? <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my god! Okay, so I'm a little bit confused as to how this place works because like we didn't get to choose like the theme or whatever But what we're guessing is this is our room where we sleep But there's also like a separate place where you can you know Be a little weird and like pretend like you're a nurse You're a patient <laughs> So what we're thinking is maybe there's a separate place here with the hospital theme Yeah, and then we can like sleep here and yeah. then go to that themed place, but it doesn't have a bed Yeah that's what I think. Because I remember when I looked at pictures for this place, there's a train theme. Yeah. Where you're in a train and you're like, you know, a creep. Ew, that's kind of weird. That's kind of fucked up to think about. Oh my god, it's like people who love like touching and groping people on the train, feeding their fantasy by coming here in the train place. Ew, wait, this oh is more god. fucked up than I thought actually. <laughs> Literally says high school girl. 500 yen. Problematic. Oh my god. Oh Ew, my I hate the fetishization Ew. of these. Literally a PE uniform, but with her gown. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so we're actually going to buy one of the costumes. We already have a costume, but we're actually going to buy another one because that one's actually really tiny. It barely even fit me. I don't think it will fit you. Then we are going to explore the entire level in those costumes. <laughs> Wait, I live. <laughs> we are so stupid in a really slay way. <laughs> a bitch, I can't see. Bitch, I can't see. <laughs> 
Oh, they just left it. Ew, it's kind of nasty. nasty. Oh my god. <laughs> Look how tiny the shorts are. Okay, so I'm just wearing my normal shorts because these shorts, I think if I go out with it, I will actually go to prison. <laughs> oh my god, you're selling the fantasy. You're like an actual nurse. Anyway, let's go outside and explore the place. Okay, so we'll literally just film each other. <laughs> yeah, this is so dumb. Okay, let's go. Um, yes, Queen Skinny Legend Versace boots the house down. Slay Queen, Hunty Mama, and Oop Daddy work. <laughs> we were yelled at. We were yelled at. Um, so we were yelled at. <laughs> we're not allowed to wear what we rented, apparently, is what she said. My fantasy is ruined. <laughs> I mean, this is giving, like, Y2K outfit. This is Y2K fashion. That is the ugliest outfit I've ever seen. Is this body lotion? Body wash. Do they not have fucking lotion? <laughs> the fuck? I will get this one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, if it's free, <laughs> say kick, bitch. I mean, I mean, fuck? it's free. We got so much food. We literally took everything for yeah. revenge. Yeah. Oh, oh. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, you don't yell at us or we'll literally take the entire store. <laughs> this is our lunch. <laughs> Don't do this because it's problematic. No, it's no, not. It's this not. is free. This is free. Just take everything. Bitch, I'll bring home some for mama. <laughs> <laughs> so first thing I want to try are the umaibo. In Japan, if you guys didn't know, umaibo is like one of the most famous snacks in the world. Mm -hmm. In Japan. In Japan. <laughs> Bitch, we didn't get shigarasuku. <laughs> They do have food. How do we order it? Oh, it's members only. Members only. So if you're a member, you can eat. If you're not a member, then fuck you, starve. <laughs> and eat umaibo instead. <laughs> this bed is insane. It says that if you turn it on, the bed will move up and down for you so the person doesn't have to move. What the fuck? Bitch, you have to be a member to do anything here. That sucks. Um, to be able to use the karaoke, you need to be in room 701, 702, or 703. What does that mean? What? Well, I'm so sorry that I didn't choose 701, 702, or 703. It's like as if they gave us a choice. They were just like, let's put these two little in that random blue room with flowers. <laughs> Well, that was an experience. <laughs> it was something. A little bit overrated. Not that anyone's ever rated this place. But we were kind of expecting more. They made it look so cool outside, but in reality, there are like specific rooms to do a lot of the things. Yeah. I mean, it was cheap. It was only like 5,500 yen. But also like we were expecting more. Yeah. If you want to get the full experience, you need to be a member. Yeah, that's true. You need to be a member and like get a specific room. If it's yeah. open too. Because like we were just forced to be in one of the rooms. Yeah. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys again on our next video next. Thank you again to NordPass for sponsoring this video. Use code extra for four extra ones free.